Hi, welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in spiritual growth, bringing from powerful Word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. First, the Bible says that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So it is what you hear that builds you up. It is what you hear that you engage that truly profits you. So I encourage you as about to listen to this Word of God. Please open up your heart because God is about to visit you. God is about to transform your life. God is about to turn your life around. So I encourage you, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe, like, and share this message with others. The year has just begun, but some people's fire are just are going dim already. But don't be among them. Keep the fire burning. Keep the passion and the fire alive for God. Let someone know about Jesus because you are alive. I'd like you to participate in this two or three minutes of prayer. Please discipline yourself to participate in this prayer. It is not just the nations that need that dimension of Jesus. The first prayer is you are going to pray for yourself. Father, let the forgiving Jesus, the healing Jesus, the redeeming and delivering Jesus, the lifting Jesus, and the one who prospers, let him be at work in my life. I surrender my life and my days to this holistic dimension of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. And for the nations following across the globe, make sure you pray. We are dealing with the mountain of the Lord's house, revealing the biblical portrait of what the end time church should be. Correcting the misrepresentations of God that has brought pungency to the gospel as far as attracting the saints and attracting men to Jesus is concerned. He gave us a mandate we must not fail to obey. He said go to the highways and the byways and he said compel them to come. Koinonia pray. Father you are glorifying yourself in this ministry. May I not be exempted. Go ahead and pray. Let me love you more than things. Let me love you more than healing. Let me love you more than deliverance. Let me love you more than lifting. Let me love you more than influence. More than favor. More than wisdom. But Lord, I decree and declare that as I love you, as I live for you, and as I serve you, in the name of Jesus, may my life be a capture of a loving and forgiving Jesus. May my life be a capture of a healing Jesus. May my life be a capture of a redeeming and delivering Jesus. May my life be a capture of the God that, he, that honors, the God that lifts. And may my life be a capture of the God that satisfies my mouth with good things. Let my children not cry as I serve you. Let my needs be met as I serve you. Let it please you to lift me as I serve you. Let every infirmity in my body die as I serve you. Let my days be lengthened and fulfilled as I serve you. In the name of Jesus, to the sinner, he is the God who loves and forgives. Forgives those who are broken and forgives those who are contrite. Forgives those who are repentant. To the sick, he reveals himself as the God who heals and that he heals all diseases even to the uttermost. To the ones bound and oppressed and kept in their lowly estate. Under the influence of all kinds of demonic forces. He is the God who delivers. And truly he delivers. That who, who the son of man sets free is free indeed. To the one who has been bound by mediocrity. As an individual, as an institution, as a family. That he is able to raise you from the dunghill and bring honor to you honor to the name of your family 
that for once they will trace the lineage of your family and find a point where you encounter the God of heaven and that he decided to lift you and to the one who is poor and needy with all kinds of pain and financial problems house rent children school fees bills that are already drifting you towards the corridors of compromise you can't pray because of these things you're a man of god you now want to start lying and faking miracles because of pressure you want to start stage managing things not because you're a bad person but that is what financial incapacitation can do can do to you and has done to many in fact there are many people have had the honor of speaking with them and they're saying apostle i'm not a bad person but pressure has pushed me into things that should not be bless the lord O oh my soul and forget not his benefits present this god present this jesus to your world and you will see the rich run with tears in their eyes and come to a loving a forgiving and a healing god you will see the poor come crying and say lord i have given myself to idols in a bid to look for lifting for God's sake, if you can make a vessel out of me, then please go ahead and do so. We will see the world and the nations run to Jesus. And this is what we are here for. And I'm praying that in our lifetime, that in the name of Jesus, we will be able to present this portrait of God and this portrait of Jesus to the nations. Tonight, as always, I stand here representing this God I have proposed to you. And I want to make a call before I speak finally over your life. You are here in this place and you are saying, Apostle, I need a loving and a forgiving Jesus. My life has been marred by all kinds of painful pasts. I've never truly made a decision for Jesus. My life is so ugly, I do not even want to talk about it. I want you to know that there is a loving and forgiving Jesus, not only in the Bible, but in this house that is able to forgive to the uttermost or you are saying apostle I don't consider myself to be a sinner but I've never truly made this decision for Jesus or you are saying apostle I just want to repent I used to think God would just forgive me anyhow but now I have learned that forgiveness and pardon happens at the instance of brokenness and repentance whether you are making a first time decision or you are rededicating your life. You have a choice to live without making this, this decision. But I, I plead with you and I beseech you by the message of God. Win that war and swallow your pride tonight. As I count one to five, I want you to take your bags, your Bible, everything you came to church with. Run and come and stand in front of me here as you encounter the loving and the forgiving Jesus. Come. Don't say apostle, people know me. They know what my life has been. Don't mind them. This is between you and the loving Jesus. I know a God who is merciful and kind. Come. Sing it for me. I'm the apple of his eyes. The thought that fills his heart. Every morning you and I. Leave your seat and come. Let's celebrate them as they come. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for the bold decision and the courage. Come. If you're coming, keep coming. This is a house that reflects the love of this God you just heard. No matter what is right and wrong in your life, God can give you a new beginning. Please, may I request that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender and pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. If you're joining them, please join them quick. We've, we've begun the prayer. 
Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word that you are a loving God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive forgiveness of sin and I declare that I am a child of God. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From tonight, I go forward. I make progress and I go from glory to glory. The guilt of sin leaves my life now. I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. Keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious brothers and sisters. They have come declaring your Lordship over their life. And I have presented you as the God who loves and even the God who forgives. And I thank you by faith and by the authority of Scripture that they are now recipients of your forgiveness. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that the life of God is at work in your spirit. Beginning from tonight, you go from glory to glory, grace to grace. We call you bona fide recipients of this life of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Now very quickly, let me request that you please follow the counselors just for a moment. There are counselors waving the placard by my right, which will be your left. Just a moment with them and they'll have a word with you and you return back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Thank you for staying to the end of this message. I know you have been blessed powerfully by this message. I know you have been blessed. And I also want you to bless others by sharing this message with others also. In that way, you are also doing the work of an evangelist. So stay tuned on this channel. And also, when you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that each time we release a content, you'll be notified and so that you don't miss out on any of our content. So God bless you. And we hope that we see you next time. But keep in mind that Jesus is alive and your life is to let you have to use the life the opportunity opportunity that god has given to you to to tell someone about jesus because you never can tell when you sow that seed of faith you're only just to sow the seed and the holy spirit will take it up from there so let someone know about jesus you don't have power to convert someone you don't have power to convict someone but when you sow that seed the Holy Spirit will now breathe upon that seed and the person will be convicted and the person will give life or her life to Jesus.